morning, everybody. It is around 10 a.m. and there's not a whole lot going on. It is Saturday morning and just trying to live my best life. So what's going on today? I'm waiting for Danielle to come. Sadly, during quarantine has been Kennedy's first birthday party and Carter's third. So I have their gifts over here. Um, one hasn't come yet because clearly Amazon is only delivering essential things. So one gift hasn't arrived, but here's the bulk of their birthday gifts. So she's going to come and pick them up later. And then around 4.30, we're gonna drive to her house and do like a little parade and honk our horns for Carter's birthday today. What else is going on? Um, I just made a cup of coffee. I am still obsessed. Um, this is my empty jar. I just bought a new one too. I'm obsessed with the Mount Hagen Organic Fair Trade Instant Coffee. It is so stinking good. So good. Just made a second cup of coffee. I also have some beef um, for barbacoa tacos going. Uh, it, nothing, nothing fancy. It's basically a roast cut up into pieces, cumin, chili powder, a can of green chilies, some diced up pepper, some diced up onion, salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne. Yeah, garlic powder, onion powder. All just cooking in the slow cooker. I'll shred it later. Throw it in some flour tortillas, all the things. I just got done disinfecting my garbage disposal. I use for cleaning out my garbage disposal are these grab green freshener cleaners and I love the tangerine lemongrass one. And then in hot water and soap, I have the garbage disposal like, you know, the thing that fits down in your sink. I just have that disinfecting and then I'll give it a good scrub so it's good and clean. Other than that, Oh, I know from the intro a lot of you are going to ask about this. This is from the company Sage. This is the Push Diffuser uh, created by Kourtney Kardashian. I didn't know that actually when I bought it. I was looking for a gray cement diffuser and found this. I just think it looks so good with the cement concrete fruit I have in the kitchen. So yeah, that's what's going on my friends. <clears throat> Did some quick restyling. In the powder room, it's nothing like super fancy or exciting, but got this really beautiful print from Studio McGee and this little plant. This is from the Studio McGee Target collection. So it like just pairs really nice with the artwork in the bathroom. All right, my friends, I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee. I got a lot of work done actually this morning. Uh, sent a lot of emails that needed to be sent out. Uh, prep dinner, so I'm in a really good spot. I have an old Housewives of Orange County going. So good. This quarantine has been a great time to binge watch old Housewives seasons. All right, going to drink my coffee and then we will all catch up later. Greetings, friends. It is Sunday. It is around 10 o'clock and I am heading to the grocery store. Yesterday I did like a quick Target run because we needed some toiletry items. Like I was almost out of deodorant. Uh, and I got some like of my canned goods there that I needed and like some more like non-perishable items. But I won't buy my produce at Target. I've had really bad luck with it either being overripe or like on the verge of like bad when I've bought it. So I try to avoid that at all costs. So I do have to go to the grocery store today and buy um, basically just produce. I have everything else either in the freezer or in the pantry that I need, but as far as fresh veg, I absolutely need to pick a couple things up. So that's my game plan right now. It's to get in, get out. I have my list on my phone. I'm gonna be as quick as possible and just get it done so that it is finished. After that, uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out at home. We had a very low-key Saturday night. The barbacoa tacos turned out really good. Stephen loved them. We just had them with a little bit of rice. And like, I put mine like in a bowl of greens. 
and just, yeah, it was really good. So over on Instagram today, if you're not following me, please do go like, join the family. I post over there often. I love it. And I love getting to connect with you over there. I find that it's a little bit easier sometimes to connect with you guys over on Instagram. I talk to a lot of you in direct message. I try to respond to as many as I can, but there's one of me, several of you. But I think it's like a great way to connect, so definitely hop over there. But this morning I was sharing that like everyone, it's really, no matter what your circumstances, you're probably grieving some sort of loss, uh, big and small. We have to look for the big and small moments of gratitude too because these are the moments where it will be harder to find and we gotta actively seek them out because it frees you up for more abundance and more joy and you have to look for those moments. You have to because you will drive yourself crazy not finding moments of joy. And I guarantee you that you can find something big or small to just be grateful for. And I'm telling you, my friends, it will be hard and you might be frustrated in hearing this message, but you have to find something to find the joy in. Even if it is just like a small moment of laughter, we gotta find it. So that's what I did this morning. I spent a lot of time just finding all the moments of joy. Steven and I laughed with Bubba as we played um, and just found a few moments of just joy to start the day and it has definitely helped some of my anxiety. Like right now, it is so beautiful and so sunny and that is something to be grateful for. And you guys know my theory about red lights. Every time you hit a red light or a stop sign and you have to pause, I think it's the universe telling you you need to pause and seek out something to be grateful for. So look around you, find it, stop, reflect. And that's what I'm going to do today. Every moment of pause or stopping, I'm just going to think, what can I be grateful for? What am I happy for? Yep. I hope this all finds you doing very well though. For those who know, I'm reading Madam President. I should be able to finish it today. I'm really, really enjoying it. It is your typical like political thriller um, with like a really cool twist to it. I wouldn't call it a thriller, like a s political suspense novel. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, I would recommend it. I, I don't think if you're into politics, you'd greatly enjoy it, but I'm really enjoying it. Other than that, we are going to just go about our day. We might do some cleaning. I really don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to clean. Danielle was teasing me. I told her I had like scrubbed down my cabinets and she's like, what in the world are you like still cleaning? But yesterday I did some floors, cabinets, all the things. So let's get to the grocery store. Let's get our mask on and let's get out as quickly as we possibly can. I'm actually really surprised how much traffic there is and how many people are on the canal path. It almost feels very normal. It is around, oh my goodness, look at that. What is that going on? Steven and I wrapped up lunch. He's upstairs taking a nap with Bubba's and I'm just like going around the house like cleaning up things. I cannot believe I have not discussed with you Kelly Clarkson's new song, I Dare You. She recorded it in six languages. It is fantastic. But right now I'm listening to Mandy Moore uh, and just getting the kitchen situated for the week. Um, because I did the food shopping, I just wanted to like organize things and make sure I had every ingredient for everything I've planned. Tonight I'm making a big salad and a lemon. I'm making this up myself. I'm sure it exists somewhere, but I was just trying to think of things to use. I'm gonna do some white beans, some kale, some chicken stock, some lemon, uh, some rotisserie chicken that I'm just gonna shred up. I don't think I'm gonna add any noodles or pasta to it though. I think I'm just gonna do like maybe a carrot because I have some carrots I need to use up. I'm just gonna mix some stuff up in a pot. That would be one of my tips to you as you're running. Um, at the end of the week when you have produce that you have to use up, I just throw it all in a soup at the end of the week. So we have had a soup at least um, once 
each of these weeks of quarantine because it's a way for me to use up any veg or any meat that I need to use. So I'm gonna make a big soup and a big salad tonight with some homemade dressing. I'm gonna share my recipe for that. I'm gonna share a cocktail recipe today. Uh, what else is going on? For our cocktail, I just uh, washed these glasses. These are those like glasses, that, oh, they got water in them. Um, these are those glasses that kind of look like cans. I love them. And I rinsed up my um, glass straws for the week. Been using these a lot. And then I got my stir going. Got my salad bowl washed and ready for dinner tonight. And then I thought I'd show you all. So I ended up decanting all of my natural cleaners and I had this bowl here. So I have my wood cleaner, glass, anti-bac, my produce wash, and my all-purpose cleaner. And I just have them out like that and I actually really like it. I love the amber glasses. I got them on Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below. They came three to a pack. But I just like love the way that looks and then I use my little label maker to label them. Yeah, I'm pretty obsessed with that. But that's all that's going on. I got the refrigerator all stocked up. We basically have all of our meat in the freezer. Um, but what I was really running low on was all my produce because I make veggies with every meal. So I got us some Brussels sprouts, some arugula. I actually got this in a kit. It's a Parmesan salad. I'm gonna use that for lunch. I got some broccoli, some pepper, some celery, some chives some dill and um, dill and parsley. And then I got some lettuce blends. I've been having salad almost every day, so I've been busting through these. I have this little bit to finish up today. But yeah, got some greens. Of course, I got Coke Zero. I've actually converted to Coke Zero for Diet Coke. And then got some seltzers. Um, and then a big thing of kale that I need to use. The fridge is looking awfully messy. I need to get it a little bit more organized. That needs to go out. I hate when it looks disorganized. There's really nothing I can do with this kale until dinner. So that's just gonna have to sit there for now. Pantry is still super organized and stocked. I have all my, I, because I've been making so much soup, I've never bought more stock in my whole entire life. So literally have just been going through and then uh, restocked all the canned goods. As you guys know, I go through chickpeas. I probably go through three or four cans a week. And then I have like soups and noodles and pastas and stuff and then all my produce that doesn't need refrigerated, I just threw down here. I've been using a lot of lemons. So we're gonna have some zucchini this week. All that veg will get through and then whatever I have left over, I will throw in soups. Yep, so that's the pantry. All stocked for the week. Well, longer than a week. Like these jars have been filled forever. You guys asked about these. Um, they don't seal, but we have not had any issues with freshness. I think more or less because the lids are so heavy on them. Like those cookies have been in there forever and we haven't even, we haven't even touched them. But um, they're still fresh. But I'm gonna try to convince Steven to watch Little Women tonight. I read, I bought it when it first came out and I have not watched it yet. These are my cookbooks for the week of food I'm making. So I have, um, I try to set up whatever cookbooks I'm gonna be using for the week. So I have a bunch of recipes flagged, using a lot of her vegetable side recipes. And then Christy Teagan, I'm making a couple of her potato dishes this week. And then of course, a little piece of decor on top. It's raining so much right now, which I'm actually a little grateful for because we've had so much snow lately that a little, a little rain is nice. All right, I am going to curl up with Madam President and try to finish it. As you can see, I have like a horde of blankets and pillows because I've been lounging on the couch. All right, going to read a little so bit. I have started, um, well, not I, I haven't started. I am about to start the soup 
and I'm just adding all the carrots that I had left over from the week that I need to use up. Literally, just keep making soups. There is no recipe for this. I am making it up. I'm sure something similar exists, but this is what I'm doing. So I am throwing some carrots in there. I'm gonna throw some onion powder, some salt and pepper. I have a little bit of olive oil in there. So I'm gonna do some onion powder because I forgot to pick up shallots or I would normally cut up a shallot. Put some salt. And I'm gonna put some pepper. And I'll get that all going together. I'm also going to get some minced garlic and add that. But I have to share, I recently found this olive oil. It is from Spain and it is absolutely the best olive oil I've ever tasted. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm trying to like be like careful with it because it's a little pricey, but it's so stinking good. If you can get your hands on it and wanna splurge for a really good olive oil, that's the one. All right, I'm gonna get a zest of a lemon going as well and I'm gonna grab the minced garlic. With the minced garlic, I'm gonna take about this much and then I'm gonna get my zester and I'm gonna do the zest of one whole lemon. I will tell you, I love lemon in a chicken noodle soup. I love to serve homemade chicken noodle soup with like a wedge of lemon. Oh, I just think it brightens it up so much. You could also totally do this without um, the lemon zest too. This could be a complete failure and that's fine. I just threw two stalks of celery. I'm not keeping the celery in there so they're just like very big pieces. I'm just using it for the flavor. I'm going to add two boxes of chicken stock. And to that, I'm adding one cup of water just to kind of break up the chicken stock a little bit. I am going to hit this with a little oregano leaf. I love oregano in a soup. All right. And I'm going to cover this. I'm gonna turn up the heat just a hair. And let that simmer away. And then that gives me time to clean up all the little messes I made. The other thing I love about making a soup is that you can clean up in stages because like right now I'm just gonna let the broth go for a little bit with the veggies so I can like clean up all that stuff and just like kind of clean it up as I go. Um, whereas I feel sometimes I'm cooking and you're using multiple things all at one time. Um, but with a soup you kind of do it um, in like little prep steps and it allows you to clean it up. So I'm just gonna let that simmer for a really long time actually. Let me see if it came up to a little bit of a boil. I'll turn it down then. Oh, it already smells good. You can smell the lemon zest in it. I really am happy with that. I'm debating whether or not I want to throw some pasta in it. Hey, Bobby, those carrots I gave you are still over here. Looky. Looky, you left crumbs. He loves carrots. Looky, right there, right there, right there. Don't forget that one. Oh, you're a good boy. You ate all your carrots. Your eyes will be good because the vet said you had old lenses. Those will help your eyes. I thought I'd give you all a really quick update for the soup. So I realized that I had a green onion still in my fridge and I wanted to get some like fresh onion flavor into the broth. So I just cut up the greens and I'm letting that simmer with the rest of this stock. I uh, have my beans drained, ready to go. The kale is already cleaned. I'm gonna throw in some fresh dill because I love dill and lemon together. I'm gonna use the juice of this one lemon I zested. I don't know if I'll need this one. And then we're gonna make a really good salad. Here, we're gonna make the dressing right in the bowl. It's gonna be a little rice vinegar, a little sugar, a little salt and pepper. What else? A little mustard. 
I have a really good French mustard I'm gonna put in and then yeah, that's gonna be dinner tonight. Do you approve? He ate some chicken as he was shredding it. So you got some carrots, you got some chicken. It was a good meal. I keep debating if I wanna throw some pasta in the soup. I have these wheels. I might throw a little, a few of them in. Just not sure. I guess we're not having any other carb. Oh, I guess we're not having any other carb tonight. I might go ahead and throw some pasta in. That's what I love about making a soup. You just make it up as you go, and you add whatever you want to add. All right, I have decided that I am going to add a little pasta to this. I think that's enough. I'm also going to start adding some kale. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and add, add the beans. This is going to be a very hearty, thick, full soup, which I'm excited about. When I reheat it, I might have to add a little bit more water. If I wanted to, I could throw in a little bit more chicken stock, but I'm just not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the salad dressing going. I'm gonna start with a little red wine vinegar. Once again, I'm doing no measurements. So a little over a quarter of a cup. I'm going to add two pinches of salt. I'm gonna get that salt to dissolve. I'll also add some pep, fresh ground pepper. Pretty big pinch of that. And then I'm also going to add two pinches of sugar. And then I'm going to use a really good French mustard and I'm gonna put mm, like two healthy spoonfuls in. I'm just gonna get that all combined. And you'll see when it starts to foam up like this, you're getting it emulsified really well. And now that's ready for me to drizzle in some of my olive oil. Steven and I really don't like a very oily dressing, so I'm not going to add tons of oil, but you wanna keep whisking as you drizzle it in. For Steven and I, that is more than enough olive oil. You're going to see how like beautiful and thick that dressing has gotten. I'm just going to add some greens. So I have some arugula that I still need to finish up. I'm just going to throw that in. And then I also have this blend that I have to get through. Once again, not wasting anything. Steven and I have done such a good job of just not wasting any of our food. Okay, I'm gonna grab a few more of like the fresh greens. Also might as well add a little bit of this kale that we have. I'm gonna tear up some of this fresh dill. I always tell you, fresh herbs are like a dill, are like a game changer in a salad. Also going to add some chive. Now I'm just gonna toss it and get that all incorporated and mixed together. I also picked up a block of really good um, Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna shave that with my vegetable pillar and add a couple pieces of that. Look at that beautiful salad. So we have the salad. We're gonna make some soup, have a little bit of white wine with it. Perfect. I'm about to finish off the soup. I'm adding the juice of an entire lemon. You don't wanna do it too early in the process because a lot of the flavor can cook away. So, juice of one whole lemon. And then I'm going to add 
all that fresh dill and dinner is done and ready. All right, so there is dinner for the evening. It looks so good, so colorful, so healthy. Um, this is the plan. And we are going to end our recipes with a little bit of a cocktail. So what I have here is Reka vodka. It is the smoothest vodka. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Then we have a La Croix Lemoncello. These have just released. They're life-changing. Has a little hint of vanilla. Zero calories, zero sugar. And then lastly, I have this Italian blood orange soda. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to... One, two. Our ice maker we just used, so I don't have a ton of ice, which is a bummer. I'm gonna use most of this La Croix. And then lastly, I'm just going to add a splash of this soda. Give it a stir. And that's tonight's cocktail. I am ending the evening with a bath. So many of you have asked about the bath bombs that I've been buying, the Life Around Two Angels. I'll leave them linked on Amazon. Love them, they don't leave a mess. I am obsessed with them. I'm very, very happy with them. It is around eight o'clock. I just gave my hair a touch up. Really happy with it. But, um, yeah, we're just hanging out. I'm gonna sign off this vlog like I do all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye.